Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and in this video I'm going to be continuing off of the previous tutorial I did on setting up the basic health bar, um, but this time I'm going to be showing a more uh, performant way of doing it, so we're going to be optimizing a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is go into our health bar HUD, all right, and if we look in the graph, right, we can find this get percent function, right. Now this function is being called you know every every tick or every frame so it's being updated constantly when you know it might not need to be for example if you know our health isn't decreasing or isn't increasing it's still going to be updating even though it's not necessary to so we're going to be changing this from a property binding to be um, event driven all right so it'll be a lot more performant that way so let's just go ahead and we're going to delete all of this all right, and we're actually going to delete the function as well. All right, and then back in our designer, if we click on the, um, you know, the health bar, um, and see none here, we're just going to hit remove binding. Okay. So now we'll compile and save, and we're going to go into our graph now, and what we need to do is cast to our third-person character off of this event construct, so we can get a reference to them, and you know, again. Uh, get those health values. But first, what we want to do is find our character, and we want to open them up, because we're going to want to add a um, something called an event dispatcher. So to do this, uh, we'll go to event Dis dispatchers, and we'll click add, and we will call this, you know, update health. All right. And so. This, whenever we call this event dispatch, uh, excuse me, event dispatcher, it will send out a message to everywhere else in the game um, for anyone who, uh, or for rather, for any blueprint that implements um, this update health um, event, um, and then it will run some kind of functionality, right? So we don't even need to have a reference to anything in particular to to send it. We just need to, you know, fire and forget, and it'll run some kind of functionality. So, um, to do this, we're actually going to um, we're going to call the update health event at the end of our key presses. So first, let's drag it out, and we'll drop it, and we're going to say call, all right? Because we want to call this function, all right? Um, now next. Um, we're just going to hit Control W to duplicate it and add it here. All right, and now it's sending. It, it's ready to send out its message, but we need to be able to convey, you know, what the health value is. So um, we need to click on our Update Health Dispatcher and go over in the Details panel, and we need to add an input. So we're going to hit New. And we're going to call this, um, you know, just Health, and then change it to a float. And it should update. If it doesn't, just right click and say, you know, refresh nodes, and it should refresh. So now we can take these values, plug them in, and now let's hit compile and save. All right. So from there, now that we've now that we've created the event dispatcher, we uh, just need to go over to the health bar, all right? And from event construct which acts very similarly to event begin play, right? This gets called whenever the HUD is created. So um, we'll drag off and we want to cast, oops, cast to our third person character. And for the object, we want to get player character. All right. And now um, from here, we're going to uh, drag off and say um, assign on update, oops, assign update health there it is so we want to assign update health okay and so what this is going to do is it's going to um, do a couple of different things first it's going to create a binding for our update health event dispatcher but then it's also going to create an event for us um, to run some functionality based on the event dispatcher so we'll hit assign and as you see, it binds an event to that event dispatcher, and then it creates a custom event. So we'll just call this, you know, as it's, um, oops, we'll just call this update health bar, okay? So we'll reposition, and I'll just hook that up. And now, what we can do is take 
um, this health value and simply divide it float divided by float we can divide it by we want to get our max health plug it in All right, and then we're gonna drag off and we're gonna say oops first we want to get this right so we'll drag the progress bar in get and we want to set the percent alright just like this and we'll set the percent okay so if we can compile and save now if we press play um, okay so you'll see it's empty right now um, that's because by default it's at zero so we'll just change that to one so that it's full but now um, if I press play and I hit my F key it will call that event dispatcher and it will update our health bar so I can keep hitting F and it'll keep decreasing and then if I hit V it'll increase and so as you can see it's doing very much the same thing but this way is a lot more you know performant um, especially when you start you know having a lot more uh, HUD elements and having other blueprints that use event tick right this just you know cuts down on the you know CPU overhead so um, again just another way to do it uh, you know either way is fine whatever you know whatever way suits your purposes uh, you know go for it so uh, thank you for watching I hope this has been helpful you know if you like the video like or subscribe and we will see you in the next one